Hello everyone, this is HG Shaves. I'm back with another video. Today, I have a few new products to talk to you about. Um, let's start with, you know what? Let's start with the razor today. I don't feel like I usually start with the razor. So this is a Mercure 34C. I believe this is also considered a 34C HD, which of course particularly interests me. Um, this is a very, very common razor. Lots of you probably have heard of this razor, uh, if not used it already. And a Mercure 23C was the first razor that I ever used, which is a similar head design, but it's a three-piece razor and has a really long handle, I think meant to um, allure over some cartridge users. And that's certainly why I went with the long handle. This handle is about three inches in length, which at the time I could have never fathomed using. Uh, that must be too short. But I can tell you that this is now um, my preferred Mercure model. I um, like how hefty this thing feels, I like the knurling. Um, let me just show you how it's a two piece because I have never used one like this. So you untwist, twist to open the bottom and then it, there's a very long uh, post in the middle and you put your blade in. By the way, I'm using the tie. Oh, got it upside down. Got the tie super thins in here today. And so to load it back in, you of course drop the blade on and then tighten. So this razor has been pretty nice to use this week. Um, I think it is a good razor for beginners and a lot of people who stick with the hobby too. You know, it's not just something that could be used by a beginner. Um, and really my only complaint about this razor is just that two piece thing. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of that because it makes it difficult to um, line up the blade well from the start. It seems like a three piece mechanism um, would be more secure. I mean, it is cool how you get to twist open the bottom, but um, luckily we got good alignment here just from dropping it in. Oh, and I, and I want to thank my friend uh, Wally for uh, sending this over to me to try out. Onto the soap and splash for today, we have a new release by Southern Witchcrafts called Grey Fetifer. Uh, this was a pre-order done exclusively for the members of the uh, subreddit Wet Shaving IRC chat group, which uh, I am a proud member of. And uh, the Grey Fetifer comes from Tom Ford Grey Vetiver, except uh, Stephen there, Dogwood Handcrafts, he goes by Stephen, I don't know how you can say that, PH Stephen, on uh, some uh, online places like Reddit. And so it's a little tongue in cheek name uh, meant for Tom Ford and Stephen. Love, love the label, by the way. Um, robot, great job, man, if you're watching this. So let's look at the soap. This is the typical V2 vegan base from uh, so Southern Witchcrafts. Now, this soap has rinsed and dried. Um, you can see the dried sides up on the sides, but you notice that sheen um, that's already on the soap, which I have not experienced with a soap like this before. It's a very oily, um, sticky soap, like one of the stickiest I've used. I spoke with Steven and he said, because this is a dupe, um, they have to use a lot more percentage of fragrance oil than they would in one of their typical releases. He said it's like twice as much. And I have noticed how that has changed the texture of the soap. I gave me a little bit of grief the first day, but once I realized what was going on, um, it took care of itself. So. In terms of the soap itself, um, Tom Ford Grey Vetiver is, you know, there's vetiver in there, but it's not a real vetiver scent in my opinion. There's much more of these kind of bright citrus aromatic notes, and I get very little of the, of the woodsy vetiver notes that are supposed to be in the cologne. However, this soap is what I wish the cologne smelled like because the emphasis to me is on the vetiver, the woods. There's even like kind of a nutty note in there that is quite nice. And you don't really smell too much bright citrus. Uh, you get a little bit more out of the aftershave, but it's uh, 
I would say it's a quite different take on the same notes from the uh, cologne. And if you're a Grey Vetiver purist um, and you really like that bright citrusy thing, then this may be not be the, this this might not be the best representation of that fragrance for you. But for me, I prefer the soap. Um, so I'm very happy to have this, um, and uh, thank you to Stephen for making it, of course. Okay, we talked about the razor and the soap, and then just in honor of Dogwood Handcrafts, this is my turn by Stephen, right there on the bottom, Dogwood. Um, John B. Poor 26 millimeter Timberwolf knot with the patented Michael Friedberg exaggerated extended hourglass shape. How about that? So with all that said, I'm going to wet the face, wet the brush through and get loaded up and then start working on my ball a little bit. Be right back. All right, after about a 45 second load with a fairly wet brush and then working around in the bowl for a few minutes, this is kind of what we got. Um, because of having to start with a wetter brush to kind of compensate for the oiliness of the soap, um, been able to get very wet lilers this week, but they haven't necessarily been at the volume that I'm accustomed to, but it hasn't bothered me at all. Um, the soap is plenty slick, plenty protective, even in kind of a thinner version of it. And I should note too, that uh, because of, per, you know, potentially the fragrance oil thing that I already mentioned, and also just the number of oils that are already in the soap base, there is kind of more of an oily slickness to the soap than kind of like a buttery feel but um, just something to keep in mind. So I'm going to uh, start working this into a face lather now. What a nice slick lather. Wow, stuff flinging everywhere, which is always a good sign. I mean, you got enough water in there. And um, gonna go with the Mercure 34C HD. Um, and I'm gonna trim up my sideburn here. This is a bit long with the grain. Nice first pass there. Very, very slick. You know, again, as I was saying, but kind of an oily slickness, which is different than what I've become accustomed to in the past few weeks. Mm, yeah, gonna rinse, come back for pass number two. Second pass, cross grain.
Second pass done. Um, something I've been trying to incorporate into my technique this week and maybe last week too, was trying to cover more of my face with a single razor stroke. Um, I think when you first start out, they tell you to take you know really short strokes and don't go too far at once. But actually in getting over kind of bumpy areas like my jawline, I think going kind of down to the jawline and then going under the jawline is actually causing me to miss you know, the hairs that are kind of in the middle and I don't have to spend too much time kind of cleaning them up at the end, which could, you know, did cause some irritation. So um, just a note about my longer technique, which a lot of the YouTube uh, white shavers out there uh, implement that technique. So hats off to those of you who do. Go to rinse, be right back for pass number three. Final pass against the grain here. All right, all through there. Um, man, I love the scent of this soap. Just beautifully earthy, woodsy, nutty, but not overpowering, not offensive. Um, I think that's one of the great things about the soap scent and also the original cologne is that it's pretty inoffensive and also can be worn uh, year round, in my opinion. So um, yeah, let me rinse off. I'll talk to you again over potion. Okay, just rinsed off, and let me tell you, that stuff has great residual slickness. Again, I think because of all the oils, it really tends to stay on your face, so I really had to rinse that like much more thoroughly than, um, again, the soaps that I've used in recent memory. Okay, for potion today, matching toner from Southern Witchcrafts. Um, I think they only make toners, no aftershaves with alcohol. And this is still a very simple uh, toner formula, witch hazel, aloe, polysorbate, fragrance, glycerin, vitamin E. That's it. So um, not a ton of skincare goodies in this, but in my opinion, the fact that there's no alcohol will automatically make it better for your face. Call me crazy. But you gotta shake it. And one other thing, again, kind of similar to the soap situation, I noticed this week that because there's no alcohol, um, this doesn't absorb um, as quickly as an alcohol-based splash might. So as much as you're tempted to add in a bunch of toner, um, don't because I don't know if it's possible for you to see, but it doesn't necessarily uh, absorb so quickly. And then you're kind of left with a bunch left over. Um, it's not a complaint, just be aware that you probably need less of this than uh, you would with an alcohol splash. So I'm gonna rinse my hands real quickly. The scent of the 
soap compared to the toner is very, very similar. Um, so nothing to worry about there. Still, uh, you maybe get slightly more of the citrus in the toner, but not nearly as much as in the cologne. And so in that way, I think this is a good uh, dupe fragrance because the soap and the toner match so well together. Okay, well, let's do a quick overview of things we use today. Um, Mercury 34C. I have two, two and a half qualms about this razor. Um, one is the price. Um, I'm stealing this from one of my fellow uh, YouTube shavers, Sugar Daddy Shaves. He points out that this retails for something like 40, 50 bucks, and you can get a better constructed razor in terms of materials for less. Um, so this is chrome, it's pop metal. It can corrode if you don't take care of it. It's not a huge concern for me, but I think it is fair that um, this is maybe a little bit overpriced if you buy it new. Okay, so the price is my first thing. Um, the second thing is the uh, two-piece mechanism, which I think I mentioned in the beginning. I think it's just really intuitive to put a blade in, you know, that way uh, going down if it's not like a twist to open, because you really have to hold it. And again, I think if we're talking about this razor being given to a beginner, um, the, the blade alignment aspect of it is not going to be intuitive for them. I mean, it wasn't intuitive for me, but you know, of course you can work on it, but just out of the box, um, that seems like not a good quality. And then my final sort of complaint, which I don't know, this is not as smooth against the grain as other Chrome razors like the Rockwell 6C or as smooth against the grain as like a Gillette Tech, like those techs that I've been using. Um, I noticed today that it was smoother going against the grain, but it seems like it has a much narrower um, window or much narrower spectrum of where you can be holding the razor going against the grain to get it to be very smooth. So I think it can be on par with like, actually it's not even on par with the Rockwell 6C when you totally nail it. It's close, but Rockwell 6C or the techs are better. But nice, nice little razor. Again, the favorite thing about this is just the weight of it, the small handle, love it. So there's a little uh, good and bad about the, the 34C HD. And okay, the toner, um, again, as I said, perfectly pleasant. Nice way to extend the scent. I noticed that it lasts uh, it, it lasted for a few more hours this week, you know, after the shave, which you wouldn't get from the soap, of course. And the soap itself, um, again, maybe not a quote, correct, good dupe in that it's not quite bright enough, but really I think Steven and Courtney inadvertently made a better version of Tom Ford uh, Gray Vetiver. So, um, I'm happy with the scent. Actually, I love, I love, love the scent. So, good job there. And finally, the Dogwood Handcraft John B. Timberwolf Knot. Easy to use. Um, I went to this this week when I was having a little trouble with this base at first, and um, it served me well. So, thank you all for watching. Listen to me ramble as usual. Um, next week, uh, next week, I'm not totally sure what's on the docket, except I'm going to, here, I'll give you a little sneak peek. I'm going to use this um, Noble Otter Dogwood Handcrafts Decoration Grooming B3. So it's a Otter Wood Noble Claration, Noble Wood Otter Claration. I forget what the uh, combo of their names is, but it's something like that. So I'm looking forward to using that next week. And definitely a vintage razor. I uh, got a few on the list to uh, try out still. So we're going to go back to vintages after using the 34C this week. But um, anyway, hope you all are staying safe, staying healthy. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them and I'll get back to you. All right. So take care. See you next time. Bye bye.